Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Life in Odessa. My name is Elena and I am your expat living and working in Odessa, Ukraine. Now, a lot of you come to Odessa for the summer, either for a couple of weeks or sometimes even for a couple of months. And one of the most common questions that I get, is there a beach where you can go in Odessa that is not super crowded? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Now it's 6 p.m. and you can see the amount of people in my background. Nobody is hurrying to go home and rest. Everybody wants to spend some time at the beach. However, outside of the city, there are a couple of options that I would, I would really recommend. And hopefully next time when you're thinking about great places to spend your time in peacefulness and quiet, uh, you can go to one of the places. Let's go. This beach that I wanted to show you is called Sanjeka and it's one of those rare beaches that only locals know about and I wanted to tell you about because right now is the beginning of the season, it's, uh, it's a Sunday and you can see there are almost no people on the beach. The sea is amazing, the beach is pretty good and pretty large and besides that you have the amazing view of the hills, steep hills behind you. So it's an absolute winner in my books. about infrastructure, Sanjeka is one of those um, wild beaches. So don't expect any chaiselongs rentals or umbrella rentals, take everything with you. Usually what I've seen here, people take their own uh, blankets, their own umbrellas. Uh, there is almost no shade here, so I do uh, recommend that you come either in the in afternoon or in the morning, because there's no tree, nothing that you can hide under. А почем в попкорн? А вот эти трубочки? Они светлые? Да. The beach is great, don't get me wrong, but it's so steep. You'll be walking on a lot of stairs here to get up, to get down. So probably if you have some kids with you or maybe you have some disabilities, it's worth thinking twice whether you wanna to come to this beach, although it's so, so, so beautiful. I've seen families with kids, but I think it gets some effort to safely get everybody down and everybody up here. Now, these steps are made of wood, which is good, but I've also seen steps made of clay, which can get pretty slippery and not very reliable. The views are simply breathtaking and no people in sight. Hey, we just came to Kuyalnik. This is a sea resort, very famous in the past for its mud baths. And nowadays, I think it's more of a place, chill place where you can come for barbecue or to bathe in the sea.
people come here to enjoy some barbecue like we did there are a lot of cars parked uh, there is not a lot of shade here that i can tell you so you have to find a spot just like we did in between the trees so you get some uh, moderate shade odessa is not a good place for shade it's pretty dry especially in the summer uh, it's pretty hot so take some umbrellas take some sunscreen and take some hats with you The Kuyalnik Liman is just behind me and it's a pretty shallow water that is popular among people who like to bathe in super salty water for its health benefits usually or do mud baths. So you would see sometimes people coming out of here with you know muds on their body. Don't be scared. This is pretty normal. I'm not sure if that's a trend in all of the countries, but in Eastern Europe you believe that the mud has really good health benefits. The water is super salty, so if you have any cuts in your body, <laughs> it will sting like hell and you'll be covered in this white film that the salt leaves. super windy today which is a good thing if you ask me because it gets so hot here and due to the wind we don't feel the heat as much besides just eating food uh, like we did here i saw a lot of people riding their bikes going on atvs even riding horses so there are a lot of things that you could do here just don't forget your sunscreen because it gets super super hot Today is Sunday and there are not a lot of people here. The week has been pretty rainy, so not a lot of people made their way to the beach. Look at this gorgeous wild plant, such a vibrant pink color, yet it has a lot of thorns, a lot of spikes. My third and last option is the Sauvignon Village. This is a very nice region to the south of the city of Odessa and locals usually go there for some seaside relaxation. We went to the Yolki Palki Resort which is comprised of a couple of pools and a couple of houses that you can rent and one adult ticket for the weekend is 600 grivnias for the day. I think they open as early as 8 or 9 in the morning and they close at dawn, after dawn actually, at 8 p.m. So you have all the day and all the pool for yourself, which is pretty great. Their infrastructure is amazing and while I understand it's not the sea, trust me, the whole experience was worth it. This was one of the cleanest pools that I saw, especially in comparison with what I have seen in Odessa prior to this. When we went, it was pretty chilly, so we had to spend 95% of our time in the pool for kids. Actually, there is a really nice pool if you go further from the bigger one. Um, it's usually used for kids, but on this uh, cold day, 
everybody was staying there and they also have an outdoor uh, jacuzzi which we also adored now you have to call the resort 24 hours in advance to book a place for example if you want to come on saturday like we did you have to call them early morning on friday to reserve a place and they actually called us on saturday morning and asked us if we want to um, keep our reservation because it was a bit chilly outside and we decided to keep it which was a good decision Another thing is uh, they do not allow any drinks or any uh, food uh, that is not cooked in their restaurant but I have to tell you that the restaurant is pretty amazing. We ate their breakfast, lunch and a snack in the evening and I was never disappointed. Hey Eugene, is the water good? Too, too chilly? <laughs> <laughs> 